Hello Internet, welcome to the Doing It Yes channel. This is JavaScript lesson 4. Today's lesson we are going to cover operators. We have arithmetic operators, we have modulus which is also kind of an arithmetic operator, we have incremental and decremental operators, we have assignment operators and we have comparison operators. Yes, we do have other types of operators but these are the only things that we are going to cover on this lesson. So let's get started. Let's get started with arithmetic operators. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So I'm going to go my, to my main.js and I'm going to do addition. So I'm going to go to the top and wow, addition. Addition is simple. Add equals 1 plus 1. We are adding two numbers. That is addition. Wow, subtraction. 2 minus 1. That's subtraction. Same goes to multiplication. 2 times 2. So the symbol is the star sign in multiplication. Okay, so what does this add variable contain? It contains 1 plus 1, the value of 1 plus 1. So it equals 2. So if I do a console log of the add, add variable, it's going to say 2. So let's check and make sure and right click inspect element and go to your console okay okay you can see two which is the add value okay i'm not going to do subtraction it's going to be one uh, the answer is going to be one for multiplication variable is going to contain four and you can do division division uh, five divided by 2.5 or whatever value that you want as you can see you could be can do decimal or floating numbers and divide a number by that okay so that is division and next we are covering uh, modulus so what is modulus modulus is if you divide a number by a number whatever number that you want the remainder is going to get so remainder of 5 modulus by 2 Okay, so we divide 5 by 2, which is going to give us 1 as the remainder. So we, got, we are left off of 1. 5 has 2 twos, so 2, 2, 4, and we can't divide 5 again. So the remainder is going to be 1. So that is modulus. So if you console log that, more remainder is equal, and get the variable value. And print it out okay so remainder is 1 so if we do if we divide 5 by 3 uh, the remainder is going to be okay we divide 5 by 3 and the remainder is going to be 2 so that's what the modulus do let's refresh and the remainder is 2 okay that's the modulus it's very commonly used when you want to find out whether a number is an odd or equal uh, odd or even okay uh, let's going uh, going ahead uh, what do we have else okay next we have something called increment and decrement operators we can for example right now the variable add has the value of 2 we can increment that by 1 so if we do add plus plus what does this do what this does is let's console log that because we have two ways of incrementing and decrementing. We have postfix and prefix. So this is postfix. Variable and then comes to operators plus plus and x minus minus. So anyways, that is postfix. Postfix is variable then the operator. So what I've done is variable and then the operator. So you might think add plus plus, which means right now the value of add is two. And this is going to give us let's say post fix so that we know what console lock that is uh, post fix add so what do you think the value is going to be it's going to be not 3 even though you might think so 
let's check oops let's put a space okay post post fix two so it should be three yes it is three but what post fix does is it returns the value or the original value which is two and then increments it so if i do a console log add again that's going to give us three see we got three there so the value of add is changed after it has been returned to the returned so first it is two i mean in this line it is two the value of add is two but it is incremented later on and if you do a console log of add again that means it's incremented by one so that is three very important but this issue is not there in in uh, prefixed so if we are going to take prefix and i'm going to use the variable subtraction subtraction so don't consider this plus sign okay this plus sign is like concatenation so i'm going to concat this the value of this that's what i'm going to do that's what this plus symbol means in the console log command in the console log function so subtraction i'm going to do prefix so plus plus okay so what is does that give prefix does not have the problem that postfix has prefix it does not return the value of the variable before it increments or do the operator operation it does the operation and then returns the value so the value of subtraction should be 2 as right now subtraction is 2 uh, sorry the value of subtraction is 1 and we do plus plus 1 so what plus plus 1 is 2 so if we do check the, in the browser we get prefix the value of 2 so I would recommend not to use postfix because it returns the value before it does the operation you can use prefix if you want but even there is even better way of doing it you can do use assignment operators to increment and decrement values so that covers postfix and prefix and we have a sim assignment operators first we have simple assignment simple assignment is this I am assigning this uh, okay this is my name variable I am assigning my name variable the value of the string of Utpala that's assignment that's simple assignment addition assignment shorthand version okay what is addition assignment so we can add values we can say we let's create two values create a equals to one and we have uh, b equals to two okay let's say we want to add two, we want to add two to this we can say a plus equal two what does this is the exact same to this a equals to a plus two it is just simply the shorthand version we can check that out let's console log uh, the value of a Oops. so that the value of a is 3 3 so we expected that we are adding 2 to this value so I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna explain this a a equals to a plus 2 so when we come to this line when the program comes to this line it's going to look for the value a so it finds a that is equal to 1 so it going to, it's going to replace this a by 1 and we say 1 plus 2 that is 3 that is the exact same thing we do here it's just the shorthand version a plus equal to 2 so a equals to a plus 2 so this a the value of this a is 1 and the value of this a is 3 because 3 because this a gets the value of addition of this a plus 2 I hope you understand that okay so this uh, addition assignment is same for subtraction multiplication division and modulus assignments all are the same we just have to replace uh, minus that is subtraction 
uh, multiplication uh, then we have division uh, we have and we have modulus as well it's the same so let's do the last one let's remove this okay modulus 2 what does this give us right now the value of a is so again I'm going to say this means a is equal to a modulus 2 this is exact same this okay so value of a right now is 1 and the, we divide by 2 so what is the remainder the remainder is going to be is going to be 1 because we can't divide 1 by I mean we can do with 0.5 but we will not get a complete number so the remainder is 1 okay let's put 5 replace this by 5 and we will get the remainder again 1 because 5 divided by 2 the remain we'll get remainder of 1 okay so that is that uh, next we have comparison operators and be careful of type coercion in JavaScript what does what is type coercion okay let's do a simple if statement and find out if 1 is equal to true okay let's check I'm going to use alert no I'm going to use yes I'm going to use alert okay one okay but two sim two equal signs please remember that don't use only one that is simple assignment we want to compare so two equal signs we have regular comparisons we have strict comparisons so three equal signs means strict comparisons what the strict comparisons mean well it's going to check for the equality of these two values let's go to regular comparison and check okay one is is one equal to true well yes in JavaScript what they do is they do type coercion so as you know one is the data type of one is number the data type of true is boolean so these are two data types so what JavaScript does is to evaluate this statement it has to do type coercion so that means it has to change true to a number so boolean true is equal to 1 okay so it's going to say alert okay yes we get alert okay but if we use strict comparison if you use that now JavaScript is going to check for the values of one these two sides one is is one equal to true well if JavaScript does type coercion yes but when we use three equal signs it's we are going to ask it to do strict comparisons that means it's going to compare the two values of the two variables plus the data type so one is in the data type of one is number the data type of true is boolean so these are two different data types so that means it's going to give false it's not going to go to the if statement it's going to work go to the else statement say I'm going to alert strict comparison strict comparison compares not only the values but it uh, compares the data type as well okay it says strict comparison strict comparison returns so that means this is false so the else statements works okay we have inequality and less than and greater than so we can have inequality that is we have to put the bang sign at the front at the front before the equal sign so is one not equal to true well again JavaScript do, is going to do type coercion so true will become one so one is not equal to one well alert is not okay is not going to work because one is actually equal to one so the strict comparison or the uh, this alert is going to happen so not okay 
So we will get not okay. There you go. Okay, so that is uh, not equals, not equal operator comparison. We can use the strict for this as well. So it is also recomm always recommend to use strict comparison so that you will not come with bugs that you won't be able to figure out. Anyways, always use strict comparison when you can. Okay, uh, what else? We have less than and greater than. Okay, simple. Is one greater than true? Okay, I'm going to use get rid of this and say two. Is one greater than two? Well, no. Uh, okay. okay, so the not okay alert is going to happen. Let's refresh. Yes, not okay because one is not greater than two, but three is. Three is greater than two, so we get okay. Same way we can use less than. So less than the symbol that for that is less than in mathematics use less than symbol so we can use uh, less than or equal to so that's how we do that oops this way so yes so three is not less than or equal to two so let's put two here and Let's get the OK alert again. Okay, we get OK. Uh, so yeah, so that covers everything, right? Yes. So that was a long lesson. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I will maybe I will do another lesson on operators. I'm not sure. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, do comment. I will reply. And if you have uh, any more tutorials that you want me to do, especially in JavaScript or E. I will do them. So thanks for watching. Do subscribe, do share and have fun developing. Bye. Take care. Bye.